Hey guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Anessa says, Zuljan, the children of Hargon are at the gates. Their army is poised to strike. If you wish to improve our defenses even further before they arrive, now is the time. What do you say? Are you ready to battle? Yes, we're ready. Capital. Then let's get out there and show those fiends the true might of Moonbroke. Let's do it. Have no fear, Zuljan. Our forces and your fortifications have been forged in the fires of war. <laughs> Whatever the enemy throws at us, we shall prevail. I uh, hope so. Oh my god, it's Shane. Hey man, you broke out of prison, man. That wasn't part of the plan, man. And now you're back doing... <laughs> doing the do again, man. We're not gonna stand for it, man. We're gonna have to teach you a lesson, man. All of the builders and all the evil things you built are about to go down the pan, man. I see you've lined up some of your toys on the beach for us, man. All the better to wham and bam, so thank you, man. Oh, my God. You may have escaped us once, man, but this time you won't get away. It's game over, man. Game over. Sheesh, dude. The amount of times this dude says man. Man. All right. Yep. Kabluff. Uh, Good deal. And everybody's going to get buffs. Oh, my boy is helping here, too. I wonder if we could have gotten more people to come here. That's the only thing I didn't even think about, to tell you the truth. It doesn't look like this fight's going to be real crazy. Well, you know what? You know what, guys? If we do need, we could bring some extra folks. I just thought about that. We'll see how bad this actually is. So far, this wave does not seem real bad. It really doesn't. Very simple. Very, very simple. We got a couple mages. We got a couple fighters. We got me with the flag buffing everybody. Yeah, look how fast he's going down. Honestly, remember that really, really hard battle that we had right before? Um, we had to flee and we got stuck in prison and stuff. I really, really think that that was one of the hardest battles we were going to face. Just take a look at everybody's health right now. I mean, it's... It's not even a thing. It's not even a thing. Everybody's got fire swords, and... We're just kind of clobbering them. Okay. Now, that's not all the waves, though. We're not even kind of... We're not even really using the traps, to tell you the truth. Okay, here's the... The air force, or whatever. Just make sure everybody stays buffed. Even my little monster. Where y'all go? What? Oh, to the lines over here. I see. I see what's going on. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. They pull back and let the traps work a little bit. That's pretty smart. Look at the NPCs having a little bit of, uh, having a little bit of common sense. Not too much, though, because, look, they're not rushing them once they come through. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take this fight into my own hands now. If they're not planning on helping. Yeah, five against one while I just tackle this guy all on my own. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> fine, I'll buff y'all. Come take care of this guy, please. Oh my god. Really, guys? Really? <laughs> Y'all help me out here. Look at this. What are we doing? <laughs> they hit so much harder than me, actually. <laughs> Alright, we got another wave coming in? Or is that it? Oh yeah. Another wave. Well, now y'all going in, huh? Alright, they're all the way buffed now. Should be fine. Let's get the little uh, monster buff. And we alright. Multiple spells being cast. We got Kabluff going on.
Finish that guy off. There y'all go. There we go. All right, one more, y'all. One more. Are y'all retreating all the way back? Dang it! These uh, these guys with their retreats. It's kind of silly to tell you the truth. I just noticed I'm at one percent food. Let's eat some stir fry. Get him buffed up. The AI is kind of being silly right now. Kind of being silly, y'all. All right. Knights now. Okay, should be no problem to tell you the truth. It would be nice if we'd actually fight him in the uh, the traps, but I know how they are. I know what they're trying to do. They just don't want to fight him in the traps. That's all there is to it. Thanks for the heals. <laughs> we will have to heal a little bit, though, here in a second. Let's go ahead and use that one. And we'll eat one more stir fry, too. There we go. All right. All right, time to help these guys out. Yeah, get on them spikes, bro. The crits, when I hit them, they're really nice, but to hit a daggum crit is something else. Yeah, this fight would have been a lot faster with more people. That's for sure. All right, I don't think about it because the only little... um. The only little book I have to change people around is actually at the uh, the pyramid. All right, last lineup right here. Maybe. What are y'all doing over here? Nobody is where the traps are. The traps are absolutely useless right now. I wonder if I would go back all the way if these guys would just fight and and not leave. I bet you they would. Where's Anessa? Oh, there she is. Girl? You was just trying to take him on all by yourself? I guess so. There you go. Yeah, let's head let's head inside where the traps are. No, you're not gonna make it that far. All right, fine. See, Jerome got the right idea. He puts him on top of a trap. Never mind. <laughs> he just totally got the heck out of there. All right, we should try to help out right here for a second. We start seeing some of the buffs wear off. There we go. Buff wore off. Ah, oh, come on! I was trying to buff, man. All right. Let's finish off. Let's let's focus one down at a time, y'all. Come on. See Anessa getting beat up over there. Esther, you could be doing some more healing right now too, baby. Come on, get with the program. I just gave the mountain cleaver to Zara. Why did I do that? Oh, I got the sword now then. Alright, let's equip this for a little bit then. Ha! Oops. I gave her my sword, bro. I mean, it's nice fighting with the fire blade or whatever, but it doesn't do as much damage. Not even close. Zara, give me that back. Uh, Zara. Zara. 
Give it back to me. She don't want. All right. She's not, she's not gonna do it. <laughs> she's not gonna do it. I'll get it. I'll get it after the battle. It's fine. You making better use of it than me right now, anyway. All right. How's everybody's health? Um, you doing pretty rough over there, Mama. Let's see. I'm gonna probably need a bed here in just a second. Uh, where? There we go. Take out the beds. We're gonna put a bed like right here. <laughs> I just wait until she falls. It's gonna happen eventually. I could save her with my little um, this stuff right here, the Yggdrasil dew. Yeah, we should have definitely got some more uh, people out here. This is a long battle, man. Oh, is this is this the man, man? Is this Shane that I'm fighting? I don't think it is. All right, y'all. Seriously, we gotta withdraw back here. We gotta withdraw back here. Come on, everybody, back. Let's go. They're not coming, are they? Nope. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh, y'all. Oh, Anessa's healed up. Anessa is all healed up. I'm not doing any damage to this guy. Why not? Oh, I guess he was using his little shield power. Alright, he's dead. Can we just, can we just kill this guy, please? Hurry. Smack him. Thank you. Skeleton left. One last skeleton. Oh, I was hitting him even though, even though. All right. Y'all, that could have been a lot faster. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I made y'all sit through that whole thing. 12 minutes of fighting. Put your tongue back in your mouth. You look ridiculous. Yeah, Shane. Oh, man. Those traps really sting. You you didn't even feel the traps, bro. Underestimated you, man. Underestimated the power of building. You might have been... You might have beaten me, but you'll never beat the clan, man. All hail the master of destruction. All hail Hargon. He's the ma... Er, it's over. With your traps and our strength of arms... The children of Hargon are no longer any match for us. And now, when their leader is defeated, I doubt there will be trouble again. Even if the stragglers should try their luck, one look at our fortifications will soon see that they scur away with their tails between their legs. Those traps of yours really were incredible. All the soldiers hardly needed to attack them at all. And yet, it feels like something is missing. It just doesn't seem like a real battle without seeing Nauroth charging into the fray, beating the baddies six ways from Sunday. I agree, Lulu. Indeed, Lady Lulu. The fight feels unfinished without a hearty high five between Zuljin and Nauroth. Why didn't he come to our aid? Even with the monsters storming our breaches, he didn't lift a finger to help. This isn't like him. The Nauroth I know would never abandon us in our hour of need. What in the world is going on with him? Whatever the case. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, build traps to defeat monsters is complete on the tablet targets. And the hermit is going to give us a little old mini metal. Uh, just seven more tablet targets to complete and I'll give you a magic pencil. Toodle pip for now. Now that the monster's attack has been successfully repelled and we have our snow field, that is the two targets ticked off the list. All that remains is for us to work together to show Zul'jin how good we are at building by creating a grand and stately castle. Once construction is completed, all three targets inscribed upon the tablet will be met. Gadzooks, what an achievement it will be. With this, Zul'jin will, provide, will prove himself the finest builder in the realm. And our island will finally be blessed with the power of building in every quarter. The green gardens, the scarlet sands, and the Corellian steps. Or Cerulean steps. 
You, the snow, your snowfield is coming along splendidly, Zuljin, but we shan't be outdone. We shall return to the castle and resume work immediately, but will you see yourself just how much our building skills have improved? You can leave the entire operation in our hands. After all, you have work of your own to be getting on with. Do I? There seems to be a letter waiting for Zuljin. Uh, so yeah, I should definitely go check that, because I think until the castle's done, we have no other quests. Um, so time just has to pass right now, which is, I mean, we'll go check out the castle after this, but I do want to check out the mail, um, from Miss Higgins. <laughs> Miss Higgins wanted to send you a message, so I pinned this letter verbatim on her behalf. Woof, 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 oh, woof, oh, God. <laughs> Yours by Carously Saffron. Wow. And the king sent me a letter as well. How do you fare? Are my subjects behaving themselves in your kingdom? The population of Moonbrook has increased of late, thanks no doubt to my regal effervescence, and in some small part to the pace you brought here. Royal regards, His Majesty the King of Moonbrook. P.S. You are hereby ordered to keep this message as a treasured heirloom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, let's take a look at the castle. And let's see how they're doing over here. I mean, honestly, it's coming along pretty well. <laughs> it's coming along pretty well. Uh, it doesn't say, like, it doesn't have a blueprint, so I really, really don't know what else they're planning on doing or how much is left. It says build a castle is 59%, but, like, is it going to be multiple levels that they do it or whatever? It's really, really hard to know. I guess we just have to wait and be patient. Um, Y'all was saying in the comments to look for Malroth. And it's... Like, I did look around a little bit off camera. It, it's not it's not something that you can do. And even if he would be around, it probably wouldn't let you, like, approach him. Or he'd probably say, just leave me alone. The, the idea about this is um, it just... Like I said before, the choice in games like this is an illusion. It's just kind of... You know, it's the same thing as trying to break him out of jail when he was in jail. The plot just has to develop the way it's going to develop, and you can't do anything. Just like when we used to, at the beginning of the series, when we used to jump ahead, it's, you just got to let the game hold your hand, unfortunately. By Jove, we've done it. Oh, yeah? It doesn't look done. How about this, Zuljin? We have built an entire castle for you, and we have done it all by ourselves. Look upon our tall, towering walls and even the beginnings of the second story and what is more we have laid a rich red carpet to make our future throne room even more majestic fine work if i do say so myself i can't tell you how happy i am to see the castle completed it's almost overwhelming to see our hard work finally pay off gadzooks until this moment i had no idea what a brilliant builder i am my capabilities are almost frightening we build this castle in your honor zuljin it is yours to do with as you please my lamb um, how about, how about making it look like a castle and not like a platform? <laughs> now that our castle is finally complete, we would be all honored if you would join us on a brief tour of it. <laughs> Anessa, must we really? I am a little nervous that the idea of a builder Zuljin renowned scrutinizing my handiwork. Well, I'm not nervous, not one bit. I know for now the fact it will be moved to tears by the quality of our work. Come, let us not waste any more time to idle chit-chat. Let the tour begin. <laughs> oh, gosh. They all seem to have awfully high opinion of their work. Something tells me this isn't going to go as well as they expect. Come, Zuljin, we stand ready to show you the fruits of labor. Pray speak with us and be inspired. Gosh. <laughs> Step right up, feast your eyes. Here's what we made the room that have made... Wait, here's the room that we have made. I think you'll soon realize we deserve an accolade. Oh my god, Jerome is singing too? The stylish open plan design makes it light, <laughs> bright, and airy. Just one look and you'll find that it's very, very, very nice. <laughs> oh my god. Is this a joke? That wall is so full, many full of holes, it's like a row of pillars. Can hardly call this place a castle when you monsters just can't wait in and out as they please. Lady Lulu, you wound me after all the hard work we put into it. Unbelievable. Do they actually think that this castle is finished? Or did they just give up halfway through? Oh gosh, Lulu. 
Look at these wonderful rooms we made, Zuljin. Yeah? Wonderful, yeah? Uh, aren't they a little s on the small side? Or are they supposed to be pigs? For pins for pigs? Goddess have mercy. Of course not, my child. Do you not see why the design of these rooms is so truly remarkable? By crowding together into these tiny chambers, we're, if we go to bed, we can keep each other warm through the wintry nights. That's not all. These neat, narrow rooms can double as crypts. Just think how many bodies could be laid to rest here. You were supposed to be building a castle, not a mausoleum or a snuggle chamber. <laughs> Honestly, how can they think that they've finished building this castle? It's a complete and utter nonsense. <laughs> I told you that this wasn't going to go well. We still have a second story to look at. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh my gosh, bro. She's so... She's so rude. She's rough. So, Jen, I see if you completed the tour of the ground floor. Oh, my boy, what do you think of the staircase you just climbed, hmm? I labored over it a great deal, making sure I got it just right. I propose we name it the Great Staircase of Jeremiah. Do you want to name that thing after yourself? Only half the stupid thing has steps on it. <laughs> There's a landing halfway up it. It's the worst staircase I've ever seen in my life. But <laughs> I have a bad back. The landing is in case I need to take a break during the climb. Zuljan Lady Lulu, perhaps it's not the most expertly constructed example, but if you would be so kind as to look at the throne room I have made for you. Throne room? Wait, surely you're not talking about this place, are you? All you've done is thrown down a red carpet and a few purple tiles. There's nothing else about it that's even remotely royal. Alright, everyone. I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to give me an honest answer. Do you really think that this castle is finished? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> We tried so very hard, but this is the best we could do. Ah, uh, and we all, we had already told you to leave everything to us. We could bring ourselves to admit that our building skills weren't up to par. Gadzooks, man, are we just uh, not good enough? We're not like you, Zuljin. We're third-rate builders at best. If you needed Zuljin's help, you should have just had said so from the start. You may not have completed a castle, but certainly managed to lay the foundations for something splendid. All we need to do is let Zuljin loose on this framework, and we'll have the whole thing finished in no time. Oh, thank you, Lady Lulu. It's such a relief to know that our efforts were not completely without merit. We shall see our hard work bear fruit after all. Well, that's one crisis averted. <laughs> I wonder where Mauroth is right now. I would love to see him to see this ridiculous castle. Yeah, me too. I wonder where he's at. Oh, here we go. Maybe it'll show us. Hear me, Malroth. Oh, mighty master of destruction. Oh, they call it him to the dark side again, y'all. Without creation, there can be no destruction. And in a world without creation, the master of destruction cannot awaken. This is why I summoned that child to this world. I did not predict that you would meet that you would enter into a fellowship, but it seems he had his effect nonetheless. The end of the world approaches, but it's up to you to deliver the final blow. This is the only way to achieve salvation, and the only way to satisfy your desires as the Lord and Master of Destruction. Who? Who are you? I am the creator of this illusionary world, your most faithful servant and your dearest friend. Even as we speak, the Builder fills this world with the power of creation. It is nearly time, time for you to realize your true potential as the Master of Destruction. Huh. Zuljin. Hmm, I wonder what that was all about. Well, there's a long way to go until the castle is complete. But we shall have to start somewhere. Every castle needs a throne room, so let's begin there. Anessa has already set out a space. So let's use that as the foundation for our new audience chamber. You are to complete the throne room? Then take this. His Majesty gave it to me when we set sail from Roombrew. Yep. Alright, we got a throne. Good. Once, It was once a throne of the Princess of Moonbrook. His Majesty wanted you to have it, in thanks for all that you've done for us. Although it's strange, I never knew that the King had a daughter. Let me tell you one thing that would make this place cooler. Digs from the queen or king a bedroom for the ruler. Yes, good point. We also need a royal bedchamber. But first of all, Zuljin, pray repair the disfigured throne to turn it into a throne for a throne room. 
Then I suggest you add four bold banners to the and two braziers to make this place look even more majestic. And then you can turn your attentions to the sleeping arrangements. Just put the king size bed and fireplace in a fancy chair and, and a fancy light source and a resident sign in the room and voila, you'll have yourself the right royal bedchamber. And be sure to build the throne room and the royal bedchamber right next to each other. No ruler in the right mind wants to trudge across the castle when it's time for a bed. Listen, all this advice y'all given me after this rinky dink castle y'all just built, y'all, I, I, this, it kills me, man. <laughs> The materials you choose for the walls and doors are entirely at your discretion. I should make it out of dirt. Just to screw with y'all. Well then, we know what you have to do. Finish this castle. We need to build a throne room and a royal bedchamber. Wouldn't that be funny if I just made the rest of the castle out of dirt and had them all compliment it like it was a masterpiece? Just because I'm the builder and that's the way the story goes. <laughs> King-sized bed. Alright. And princess-sized bed. All right, and last but not least, uh, hey, Zara? Yeah, give me that sword back, girl. Give me that sword back. Ah, uh, so with the Malroth thing, I'm thinking that he's gonna stay gone just until he becomes somebody that we have to fight. I, it's, it's hard for me to say exactly what's gonna happen, but I'm not gonna get into building... I'm not going to get into the rest of the building for this episode. I'm going to call it here, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.